I picked up my Pulse Auto Cycle from a guy down in the Orlando, Florida area and took it back, as you can see, looking like this. The engine in it was seized up and very old. I removed it, stripped the whole thing apart, down to bare metal, lots of rust. The frame had to have new parts made for it, new pieces welded. The outriggers were in terrible condition, had to have them remanufactured. I did pick up a, uh, the, the bike that came with it was this huge uh, six-cylinder Honda, but it wasn't running right. So I purchased a new one, stripped it down. This is a 1200 Honda Goldwing, and you can see here I've got it mated to the frame. And uh, here I'm mating it to the frame more. And of course you have radiators on the Honda Goldwing, so I wanted to have my radiators on the outskirts, uh, on the outriggers there. Because I was thinking of putting them in jet engine nacelles. So lots of uh, rigging and rigging. And how do you move it around? Well, I built a uh, little trailerable dolly thing for it there for towing it. And here I'm matching things up and continuing to rig and fix things. Now the front windshield is all cracked up. You can't see it, but it's all broken and cracked. It was no, no good, really. And those front plastics over the uh, uh, nose were, uh, lights were also no good. Did get it to a uh, car show looking like that. Had some fun working on the interior, starting all the rigging of throttle linkage and shifting linkage. I wanted an aircraft look to it, so picked up some old instruments on eBay. Boy, all the wires have to be all extended all the way up to the front. That's a lot of work. Uh, working on the instrumentation in the front cockpit continued for some time fixing and mounting things testing putting in a new wheel steering finally getting it somewhat finished and a new uh, electrical up front new master cylinder brake master cylinder and brake parts lines new lights now the plastic all had to be new and made so melted in, in the oven, heated up and um, bended my own plastic and it worked out okay. Now these are the um, jet engine nacelles that I was making for the back to go over the radiators to make it look like a jet, jet engines in the back using foam and epoxy and glass cloth. I'm mounting them over the radiators, radiators in internal there with the fans behind them. And uh, this is at another car show. Now notice my wind, my uh, canopy is opening up to the side. Uh, my canopy, uh, all the, it wouldn't slide. Everything was just rusted away. And uh, here I'm making the new uh, front windshield for it. It's just using Lexan and uh, kind of like an aircraft one. Now this is a new uh, 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 plastic over the that I ordered and got that installed and worked out really nice. So new paint coming together, the new nose on it, the front uh, looking pretty good, and you can see the radiator inside that uh, jet engine to sell, so that cooling was no problem. Yeah, I did want a tail on it, so I started fabricating some tail feathers for it out of foam and epoxy and glass cloth, adding some stickers here and there, new little mirrors, uh, the, the strip up the center there is a, an aluminum extrusion for strength on the vertical stabilizer. Mounting everything, getting it all fixed up. Continuing to do lots of fiberglass work and finish work on it, slowly coming together. So we got to the point where we could take it to an air show and had some fun at an air show. And you can see here it's looking pretty nice. Went to another air show in, in the Atlanta area and it uh, added some little canard wings on it up in the front that added a nice little touch to it. Continued to go to a couple car shows, having lots of fun with it. It did g gain a lot of attention. Couldn't go to a gas station without being there for 15 minutes talking to people. And this is how it towed behind the uh, car. It towed very well. Once again, while towing it, got a lot of attention. And then I uh, started working with uh, uh, making it open up like a, a jet 
fighter canopy using electric actuators mounted like this and that worked very well so I ended up changing it to open up like this here which really added to the appearance took it to the pulse rally there and uh, really enjoyed having this it was a lot of fun